Hey NTW3 fans and welcome back to the battlefield. We have another NTW3 historical battle for you today and today we have the Battle of Arsis Sir Oob, which is an 1814 scenario. It's the very first that we've done with the new update and my gosh was it an effort to try and get this uh, to work. We've had over the past sort of like week the Napoleon Total War there seems to have been so much that's gone on um, really so so yes, uh, we've had like sort of like patches for Napoleon Total War. We've had um, like hot fixes for the game as well. We've had crashes on this game on the like on this uh, map. Um, this house in particular, quite buggy. Um, units get stuck around it. Um, so yeah, we've had, yeah had a few issues with the map. Had a few issues with um, just like crashes in the mod. And obviously then there's been the patch. For Napoleon Total War, which has come out recently from CA, which uh, does actually deal with sorting out um, a few issues for like um, people that play on like uh, more modern PCs, they can now actually play the game. But it does mean that we lose a lot of other things like in-game chat, which I'm a bit disappointed about, and also um, a few sound like cannon sounds have been lo lost as well. I believe so. I don't know if the hotfix isn't like there's been a new hotfix for NCW3 that came out quite swiftly after uh, the patch and I don't know whether that sorts out entirely the issues that uh, CA uh, kind of created with also making the game compatible but um, but yeah hopefully we are going to be able to get some more NTW3 replays we've had a little bit of a delay in any more because of uh, obviously issues with the game but yeah we are back in business I've managed with a bit of tweaking to get this one to work we'll see whether we have all the sounds and everything like that but hopefully we do have an epic replay for you today which I am very much looking forward to, with some new cores. Um, we are using the 1814 cores, as Arsis uh, Sir Oob was an 1814 battle. Um, a little bit of history for you while the armies are kind of getting into position. So, Napoleon had beaten Blücher multiple times to the north of Arsis uh, Sir Oob and had uh, actually yeah, soundly defeated him and sent him, uh, pu pushed him back quite a way so that he had a bit of relief to... Um, move his forces south uh, against Schwarzenberg, who is the main commander in this battle here today. He is one of the uh, the Austrian armies quite way back. Um, so yeah, Schwarzenberg had actually pushed MacDonald, uh, who's another French commander, one of the uh, the corps commanders. He would pushed him back towards Paris and was actually quite close to Paris. So Napoleon, seeing uh, an opportunity to cut off supplies for Schwarzenberg's army and almost sort of like encircle him in enemy territory, he tried to cut off his supply route to Germany, so Schwarzenberg retreated, Napoleon occupied Arsis Saoub, and that is how you have this battle. Schwarzenberg, quite a defensively minded uh, commander as well, actually decided to attack the town, so the French will be the defenders in this one, um, as they will be at probably most of the 1814 battles, they are defending their homeland at this point. Um, but yes, yeah, so we are going to see uh, a multinational coalition attacking France here, as it was by this point. So we have Bavaria over here, as you can see, they're getting ready. Uh, we have back here, but you can't really see them yet. Um, you can see the general at the moment, which is a, uh, I believe it's a, it's a combat general. I think this must, this must be the general. I'm certainly knew we can see, but the, yeah, they, uh, we've got the Austrians and the Vedenberg sort of corps. So I believe that this is mainly Vedenberg troops. There might be some Austrians. Um, but yeah, they are being led by Crown Prince William. The Bavarians were led by uh, Karl Philipp von Ried. So he's uh, quite an experienced commander. Actually fought for the French, I, um, like against all their enemies um, when the Bavarians were allied, but they're no longer anymore. But then have the, um, a Russian corps here was there as well. Um, he, that was apparently led by Alexander I himself. I doubt he did actually... Um, commanded himself, he delegated. Also, Schwarzenberg had sort of like main command when it came to uh, when it came to like, the actual like armies. He was kind of like the Eisenhower of the uh, Napoleonic era. He was kind of commander in chief for all forces uh, of the coalition. Anyway, certainly like the Austrians, the Russians, and the Prussians, and all their smaller allies as well. And yeah, this is the final army, which is a fully Austrian army led by Schwarzenberg himself. So uh, yes, the cores on the French side uh, were. A little bit more limited as to what they have. Anyway, we have Ney, the young guard, and oh boy, uh, this is a nasty core. I really like this core. I'm a big, big fan. Um, I actually played in, as this core on this flank here in this battle. We did do it for a stream, and I was playing as the Ney core. And I quite like, even though you can't really get a lot, I think it's really, really cool what you can get for your money. So we have Ney, 
We have uh, Victor, which has got some cool ass units, to be fair. Um, we'll, I mean, well, a lot of line infantry, but we saw there uh, there's like a unit of Marines, which is kind of cool. Uh, we do have a bit of a chase here from, uh, I believe this is from the Vedenberg player. He's trying to chase Victor's Dragoons, which are pretty speedy. We were saying this. They're quite speedy Dragoons, these guys. And uh, there's a second Dragoon comes out of the forest. Uh, Leconde here. And they look like they were going to try and maybe pincer this unit if they got a bit too close. But, yep, a not really even a skirmish uh, uh, that was. They just both kind of chased each other. And looks like the Austrians were... Well, the Vedenberg player was going to come back for more, but he did not. Um, yeah, these actually... They, these could be Vedenberg troops. I really don't know. Um, they could also just be Austrians. Actually, they look like Vedenberg. They look like Vedenberg cavalry. I'll give them that. But anyway, back to the other course. We had Victor. He's got some cool units, including those Marines that we saw there. We have the Old Guard, led by... I don't think it is actually led by Napoleon himself. I think he's, uh, he's led by Mortier. Mortier is actually leading the corps, which uh, makes sense, because it is actually Mortier's corps. Um, he's, the, he's the guard commander at this point. So we have, yeah, Middle and Old, old Guard, and along with a few of the smaller units. Uh, just like better infantry, like Les Invincibles. We have some... Um, Laguerre, I think, as well. But yeah, the Grognards are here, as you can see. The old guard will be making an appearance in today's battle. Yeah, she serves the guard as well. And then the final co uh, core over here that's facing off against the Bavarians is another Ney Young Guard here. So, Ney's, in, uh, Ney's Young Guard very much going to heavily feature in today's battle. But yeah, and you think, like, Young Guard, like the Guardsmen, they should all be able to fall square. They'll all be pretty elite. They're actually not that great. Um, they're, bit, they're a bit better than Lion Infantry. Their shooting sets are better than line infantry, but they most of the still cannot form square. And yeah, this is where the first action takes place really on this side here. A few shots going off now uh, between the the lines. We have the uh, second bolt of gears here. I think they're like the more more of a light infantry. So yeah, so they're uh, they're going to unload their volleys into these uh, poor Bavarians here. These are more like the light infantry, you can tell because they're in their bright green uniforms. Compared to like the line infantry, which are in a bit... Ooh, look at these guys, I've never seen these before. They're kind of cool, they're very much different to the uh, typical... They look like militia, I think, they're the militia. Yeah, the, the typical Bavarian troops look a bit more like this, and they're brown and like blue. With, like a very different sort of helmet, very fancy looking helmet. These guys just have a boring shackle on. But yes! So it looks like the battle is slowly getting underway. It was a bit of an early burn. It didn't. It took a little while to, uh, to get going. I think both sides very tentative. The French obviously couldn't be super aggressive. Have to defend uh, Arsis Saub. That is the main objective. They must hold that town. If they can do that, then they win the game. If they don't and they lose it, well, then the coalition win. Simple as. Um, so, yeah. So, uh, obviously, going into towns for... The coalition is going to be tough. This Bavarian Corps was not an, a, a strong corps. It's a five-pointer, I think. Um, but it's got to take Torre Le uh, Cran, 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 or Torre Le Grand, I think it is. I, the text is tiny there. I can barely read that. But yeah, Torre Le Grand. So they've got to take this town here anyway. So this is their objective. Uh, you can see the young guard shifting up some artillery. Some six-pounders in. They're going to try and do some pounding away. And they're actually occupying... Uh, quite a way into this uh, forest here. We have some, some lances, some uh, eclairs, as I like to call them. I was calling that them that in the stream, but uh, yeah, I, I guess it's the Aquilarus or something like that. The eclairs, I'm going to call them, though. But they're a, a light cab unit, quite good for scouting. So yeah, they got those. They've also got the uh, Imperial Guard Dragoons. They've also got the um, Grenadiers Chevals de Ladoux. And there is actually a couple of Ladoux uh, in today's battle. We've got a, another one here. This is Mortier's Ladoux. So, the, my gosh, yeah, it's a 130-man unit. It's insane. And then there's a, another one way off on the other side as well over there. So, we have actually three Ladoos in this battle, which is insane. It actually is mad. Yeah, the Austrians also make an appearance here. They are marching down this this, this slope. And, I mean, what a great slope. If you ever play Arsis or Oob, it's like a, as a custom game. Like, this hill is insane. It's a very nice hill. We've got some cavalry as well moving across here. The Austrians doing a, doing a bit of scouting. There's a lot of French cavalry in this forest, so they need to be careful. And we've got provin uh, provincial chasseurs uh, and stuff like that. Provisional, not provincial. Um, yeah, I think the cannon sounds are still gone. I, those cannons fired, but we did not hit the shots. We've got 12-pounders there. My gosh. Trained on, our on, the, uh, on the cavalry. They're doing very well. But anyway, oh, back over here, it looks like we've had a bit of a charge. 
Um, had the artillery, in fact, is routed. That is a huge, huge loss. Well, actually, is it the artillery? No, it's not. It's the, the eclairs are gone. No. Return, boys. You must return. I think they actually were saving their artillery, uh, which has lost its uh, gun carriages, so it's kind of stuck here. It's, it's quite set back, but, I mean, it actually is in a bad spot. If they pulled this we infantry back, they, they'd be okay. But yeah, Bavaria getting off the first strike there, and it looks like we're going to see Bavarian cavalry come through the forest again. Are they, are they charging? They look like they've been given a charge order. There is infantry in this forest. It can't all form square, even though it's guardsmen. They are actually opening up here. But yes, if you are a fan of NTW3, I know a lot of all the historical, then do remember to leave a like, subscribe to me on here, and comment to show your support. There is a help out the channel. And yeah, I think. I don't know what happened here, but that carry just charged into the forest and got shot and killed. I don't know. I don't think he knew that they were there. He just got gunned down a bit, though. Whether they were tired and he was going to try and reuse them, I think, maybe? No, is that the cavalry? I think it's way off over there, so I think he just wasted that cavalry. I'm not really sure what happened. It's a strange move. Yeah, here we go. We've got the, uh, the fifth years here. They're fighting along the uh, along the road now, trying to do their bit. Still yet to see any of the uh, central forces appear. I think the uh, Russians had to uh, delay their attack ever so slightly. They were like uh, a five-minute wait. They had to uh, do because it rep because this battle is fought over two days, so uh, it kind of represents like the second wave of troops preparing. Yeah, the uh, artillery sounds are still lost. That is a shame. Um, so we won't keep an eye on artillery, but artillery is focusing down these units here. At least we have, uh, you know, musket sounds. That's the main thing. That is the main thing. But yeah, this battle was fought over two days. Um, and then the second day, by the second day, the French were outnumbered three to one. There was over 100,000 coalition forces here to 30,000 French. Um, they were very much overwhelmed. Oh my gosh. I mean, look at that. That unit got hit hard. That nearly routed. Oh my gosh. Probably should have routed. These Austrian infantry are blowing up pretty badly. They're getting pretty close as well to these Chiliers who are going to be able to do some heavy, some good shooting. I mean, Voltigeurs and Chiliers are more like lighter infantry, but they're pretty good. They'll hold the line. Yeah, the Voltigeurs here. Lots of them in the uh, in the forest here. I need to move back my uh, my cavalry. You can see they're, they're kind of in the way of my my Voltigeurs who are wanting to form square if they need to. Oh, the uniforms look so fine. Sir, they look so dapper. Sir, they really our do. General is under attack. I don't know. Yeah, I don't know how a general's under attack, but apparently he is. But here we go. The Vedenberg players also made an appearance. Vedenberg is now going up against Mortier. He's going up against the old guard. And he's got Victor on his flank as well. Actually, Victor is sort of uh, helping here. I don't I don't know if he's able to do this. Really? I mean, he's. I feel like the Russians have got to make more of an appearance now and force uh, Victor... To, to retreat because otherwise he's just going to be able to flank and fire here into the Venebo player. There you go. You can hear a charge from somewhere. Oh, it's over here. You can hear cavalry going in. Yep, here they go. And the old guard are countering here. Yeah, the old guard. Going to his. Imagine fighting a horseman normally. That's pretty scary. How to fight a grenadier? Cavalrymen, even more scary. I mean, they only lost four guys and wiped out that cavalry unit. And um, they were rushing for the guns. Uh, the guns were saved, so that was good to see. Um, yeah, the guns are trying to set up. They uh, they need to turn those guns. You need to start firing at those infantry ahead of you, sirs. That is the main thing. France needs you. There you go, there you go, Voltigeurs. Second E, Voltigeurs retreating. Anyway, we'll go back over to this side over here, where it seems like it's holding up pretty nicely here. We have Ledoux actually going on the flank. I think it carries... I know something's broken here. I don't know what, but... There we go. Ledoux's gone in. And there we go. The clash of a titan, really. Ledoux is just going to swamp things here. Looks like he's taking on a second cavalry unit. These look like light units, like chasseurs or like... Yeah, nothing in, like, just scouting cab. They're not going to be able to stop the dude. They're going to need, like, cuirasses or something like that. But yeah, it looks like uh, the old guard here getting pretty damn close. We've got the Grognards now coming in. Look at these guys. These absolute weapons. And they're going to go charging straight on into Vedenberg. And France, though he's supposed to be on the defense, takes the offensive. 
you get close to the old guard, they will come into charge. Come into charge you. They will do this quite happily. Again, looks like uh, we have. Uh, we finally have some looks like heavier cavalry here. Yeah, Jurassic is going in against uh, Ledoux. They actually might be able to stall him. Stall him. I don't know if that would beat him. The Grognards here are actually mopping up Austrian and Vettenberg troops here quite nicely. I mean, the shots from the... Uh, well, I mean, they're killing them, you know, in, like, line fights. But, yeah, like, when they get into melee, the infantry, it's just no match to the old guard. We've got Fuselier, Grenadiers here as well. A like medium, uh, so, like, middle guard. They're doing pretty well as well. Okay, we've just got, like, some basic Laguerre and other units here holding the line as well. Chasseurs trying to do their best. Infantry, the Marines. So, yeah, Victor's coming across the help here. I love how Marines have been, like, conscripting to the army. Yeah, look at that. Absolutely, like, annihilated has um, this part of the Vettenberg army. And this mainly looks like the Austrian part. I don't know, like, how much of it was Vettenberg, but yeah. They got absolutely annihilated. Bavaria here, just looking on. He's shelled this farmhouse quite a lot here. And we actually have another cab fight back here as well. It looks like it's uh, the Imperial Dragoons. Like the Empress's Dragoons, they've routed a cavalry unit there. They won't be able to route that square. They're going to have to get out of there. Yeah, all of a sudden, they're in behind threatening. They can go for guns, general here. They have a good amount of options if they want to go for those. It looks like the young guard just trying to duel with some of these units as well. They hold on to this ruin of a house still. My gosh. Us as uh, Sir Oob is certainly a brutal one to start with here. And as you can see, it looks like very early on, we're going to have a... Uh, an Austrian defeat here. The French, like Victor and of Mortier, have just absolutely annihilated them there. But as you can see, now we have pressure on the far flank here as well. Schwarzenberg has seen his fellow Austrians being defeated on the far flank, and he's now having to move into play. Nade just doesn't have enough to hold back all these guys. The young guard on this flank here do not have enough troops. It's just. Not going to be enough. Come on, boys. Hold the line. France and your emperor need you. Fire a volley. You need to say that he, yep, reforming. And you can see now we've got Victor here with his provisional goons and various other units uh, sort of cut off because of the the Russians now coming in. And also you can see Schwarzenberg here has cut the road off. Uh, he's going to make it pretty hard. We're going to see a rear charge here, I think, for the provisional dragoons. He's going to go in for this cavalry. Looks like some, some light cavalry of some sort there. He's going to go in. Or at least it looked like he was going to go in. It actually looks like the cab might charge. The young guard. Okay, interesting. These he's guys might need to form a square, or the infantry here might need to form a square. Provisional, uh, they are fighting each other. Okay, there we go. I think the provisional dragoons finally caught them. What a weird fight. Very strange. There you go, infantry kind of clashing. I don't think it meant to, but yeah, there you go. A bit of a mess of a fight there. Russia has now appeared on the battlefield. His infantry is pretty damn strong. Russia is very, very strong in this new update. And this is like a Prussian Russian uh, Prussian or Russian corps. It's kind of an interesting one. Over on this side as well, looks like the young guards still having a lot of joy here against the uh, the Bavarians. And actually with those uh Empress's Dragoons, they've just routed the artillery here as well of Bavaria. So Bavaria is now pretty, you know, lacking in support. He's just got really Infantry. His cavalry's gone, and we've got a. Uh, is here again going against uh, another Ludu. This is a fresh Ludu. This is the young guards one. It's not even like the old guard Ludu. The easy way to tell the difference they're at half strength. One's 57, one's about, it's about 130. I don't know if they pulled through the Ludu on purpose or whether that's just a problem with an, an issue with the uh, replay. I did have a feeling that it might be slightly corrupted, but it seems like it's been okay up to this point. Maybe that was just a general, it was a general mistake, I don't know. Either way, he pulled out. He didn't break the uh, the Bavarians. 
Maybe he's just going to try and get this unit in behind and try and then throw in the Bavarians. I think this unit mu must have routed in reality. And he's, uh... Well, I would have thought so. It was right in uh, reality, and then in this corrupted version, it's still alive. It's very knackered, is what it is, though. We have French cavalry clashing here as well. Russian cuirassiers, yeah, no match as well. A very much a match for these dragoons here. They're gonna, gonna just eat them alive. So now, yeah, those Russian cuirassiers are carrying on. Uh, we have uh, Marmor here. Is uh, Victor's like the leader of Victor's corps? He's like way out in front. Why is he here? Mamo, you need to get back, man. You madman. Don't stand in front of your infantry. Yeah, a lot of these units can't form squares, so those uh, cuirasses could have a lot of joy there. Oh, we're on this flank here. What have we got going on? Looks like cavalry going in for the uh, guns here. Looks like they are going to fail the deuce cavalry here. Packing and slashing away. Routing all those in their, in their path. Guns, limber up. You need a fire. Oh, jeez. That was risky. I. Oh, yeah. Hit a lot of Madu here. Get out of there, boys. Get out of there. I think that was friendly fire more than anything. I don't think I realized that when playing. Yeah, they've routed more Austrians anyway. Madu here might get routed. We've got infantry as well charging in. Infantry with cavalry support. A pretty good mix. You can form square. It doesn't matter because... The infantry will come in and it'll just start, start stabbing you. But there you go. Win that fight as well. Will they carry on? Is it a bit too much? It could be. And in goes the do. He's going to try and route him. I don't know if he will. But these guys will be unhappy because they see routing troops around them. While this is all going on, the other side of the Austrian army here, just standing stationary, just waiting. Waiting for some, uh, like, I don't know, a sign that it's the time to go in. Do here, he looks like he's going to just try and get out of that fight. He's, he's seen enough now. French infantry here really needs a counter charge. I think he's going to get counter charge himself. There you go, yeah, there's Volta Gares. They, they've done too much. Looks like the Ledoux is going to carry on fighting here. What a madman. I think this is where he's going to get routed. French infantry also charging over here as well. Going in against the Austrians. Again, getting pretty close. And the French can see this is an opportunity to go in. Wasn't a great charge there from the players. They pulled out of that combat. Yeah, the, the, you can tell at this point that the replay's kind of corrupted. Uh, I, these guys should have routed. Um, I remember routing those guys. So I don't know what's happened there. We got... This is another Kirasi unit? No, it looks like it is. Yeah, it is another Kirasi unit. All of the Austrians. And that's going to come flying on in as well. And this could cause some issues. These guys can't form square these Voltigares, I don't think. We need to keep an eye on that. But yeah, here we go. The Russians as well just start, starting to arrive now into Arsis Saoud. At this point, I was supposed to, when Arsis was attacked, start, start to withdraw. I could not withdraw. Apparently, there was no crossing point on my side. So that was great to know. Um, that was unfortunate. But yeah, here we go. I think we now have Russian signs to come into the town. I don't know if they're actually in here yet. They're charging. Oh, here we go. Charging is now taking place. Charging is taking place. Who's clashing? Laguerre. They got no chance against these Russians. Not a chance. There you go, Red Morale almost instantly. And these are like guardsmen. These are Russian guardsmen coming in. Oh god. Yeah, they have they're screwed with these uh these are gear. There you go. Swamped. Victor's gonna send in even more infantry by the looks of it. Cavalry as well joining the fight, the Curassi is coming in. Absolute chaos here in the streets of Arsis. So, you can see here that, like, Victor with his, uh, his old guard. Actually, no, sorry, not with the old guard. Sorry, um, Victor's not got the old guard. Victor here swinging around with his remaining forces, though. I don't know how the Russians have managed to do this. Just snuck in behind. Victor's kind of just swung his army around, like, almost on a clockwork. It's very strange. But, yeah, the Russians very much in the town. They are storming this place, like really heavily. They need to get some uh, proper infantry here. We've got a general dead. 
at that point. So that is not good yet. Mike General died here. Um, he got charged. I think he went straight through the flank here. And yet, yeah, now there's just no way of getting out. It was a bit of a sad sight to see. My guns gone as well. There's infantry still in the town. But yeah, at this point, I've been smashed on this side entirely. And now my infantry remains as to retreat along with the Imperial Dragoons. That is all I have, really. These Trilliers here somehow still alive. And they're going to try and slow down the enemy. Not much they can do, really. The building has fallen to the enemy. The army has fallen. Arsa Saub is under threat. They need to get infantry in here. Who is now available? Mortier with the old guard. These Velites did Turin and Florence. Never heard of them. That's a cool unit. It's like an Italian guard unit. And then we also got some chasseurs of the old guard. So we've got the old guards now back into play. We need the grognards. We need the old grumblers. The Russians are basically hold this village at this point. Mortier on this side here is also... Oh, sorry. Victor on this side here. He's sitting assaulted. They're blitzing through these French... These basic French infantry. They really are. And there you go. As you can see, yeah, that's a pretty much a French infantry gone. They still carry alive like these dragoons here. Still doing their work. And it looks like the uh, the French guard are starting to hold here. The Russians are starting to, uh, to charge them. French versus Russian guards. Here come the Grognards as well. The Grognards coming in. We've got more Russians as well. Storming this uh, chasseur. They've routed them. Will they get the Grognards? I don't know. French entirely routed on this side, really. The goons are gone. You just can't deal with those uh, cuirassiers. They're going to charge into them anyway. Because they're absolute madmen. They're going to then try and, I don't know, cycle charge or something. Marmor's still alive somehow. He's just dodged death. Some of those Vedenberg troops are uh, returning. Still, this fight on this side rages on as well as Bavaria is helping to, st uh, to storm uh, Le Grand here. We've got the old guard cavalry holding the streets against the very infantry. What is this madness that's going on right now? The fight still goes on around the house. So, uh, street fighting is very much taking place here. And we've got a bit of a pitch battle out here as well as the, uh, the young guard battle on. It looks like, to be honest, Bavaria is not looking good on the morale, to be honest. You can see that the, uh, the dragoons of the empress here, they're loitering in the back. They're ready for a charge. On any of those guys there, but back to the Russians. The Russians seem like they are going to be the, uh, the decisive one at this moment. It looks pretty bad, actually. Mortier seems to have fuselier chasseurs. The Grognards are very much engaged, though. But yeah, street fight is brutal here. The bayonets are flashing out. We've got another Grognard unit over here as well. Didn't realize you could bring multiple. Yeah, didn't realize you could bring multiple. It's exactly the same unit. Yeah, along with the Velites of Turin here, they look like they're going to rout these Russians. There you go, gone. And the Russians, yeah, losing a little bit in this uh, in this square in this uh, town fight now. They're slowly, inch by inch, taking the town back of the French. Uh, slowly on this side, though, inch by inch, the French are getting defeated. I feel like I routed so many of these Austrians, but they just kept coming back. At this point, I should have just countercharged. They got so close, I should have just countercharged. They got very, very close. There's just too many, though. Just get shot on the flank if I just charged them all. Yeah, I should have charged here, really. Just trying to take as many of them as possible. General's killed. Oh, I think the Russians have just lost their general. Yeah, they have. He's gone into melee with none other than the Grognards. I don't think he's going to win that fight, that's for sure. Um, but yeah, Ney on this side here is about to get wiped out, I think. He's holding the tree line here. Let's see what they're trying to do. This cavalry needs to retreat as well. It's just getting shot at. And the infantry breaking as well. Just, that's sad to see. Sad to see. Doesn't help with Ney being killed. Fight for the forest begins. The young guards stand on this last stand on the side begins as well. 
They break the first wave of Austrians. Good to see, good to see. But there's plenty more of them. You can see yeah, the, uh, the carry over there, Greg Morrell, taking a lot of hits. Trillia is hitting, be careful. The Russians in full retreat as well. Well, some of them are. Looks like they're ch either chasing or they're in full retreat. But yeah, the Russians are getting kicked out of the town now. Slowly but steadily. That cavalry, though, is still alive. That seems like it's killing plenty of old guardsmen. Oh, they just killed off. Some Fuselier Grenadiers. The Gear here will be next on the list. There's still another, like, healthy Curassia here as well. So they got some nasty heavy cav. I mean, 1814 seems like it's going to be the age of the cav heavy cavalry. It really does. It really, really does. Yeah, Bavaria looks like he's just about mopped up as well. I mean, yeah, Bavaria had a bit of a rough start. I mean, he also lost a lot of cavalry. A bit wasteful in that forest over there. Um, but yeah, it does seem as though he lost all of his assets. Sort of like artillery and, uh, and cavalry. And just, which he needs to have more of it if he's going to try and overwhelm the guard. He needs to try and provide more. I don't know why they're just standing here. I feel like this square might be bugged out as well. I feel like that might have routed. We'll see. They're shooting at it now from here as well for some reason. Don't know. I'm not quite sure what's going on there. But stuff is going on. A bit bizarre. I'll give it that. Like I said, I have a feeling that with various hotfixes and patches, it might be slightly broken with the replay. But it's been pretty much 90% like to theme of what actually happened. The Austrians, yeah, routed Ney's core over here. That has happened as well. And they all hit in this forest. And some troops have returned. So Ney has got a, a little bit of an annoying force that you know, can just use to annoy these Austrians. Keep them in the fight. I think the French supposedly are coming down this road as well. So what do we have here coming down the road for the French? Just infantry. It's uh, the Villetes of Turin. They're on their way. They need more though. Oh, there is more on the way. I don't know why they're in this long formation, but they are. We've got Laguerre here engaged. Oh no, are we going to see a charge from the Russians in the back? I mean, the, the Coalition won this one in, in history, but it looks like the French might be about to change history. I'm not going to lie. Yeah, the cavalry is probably going to help win that fight, to be honest. Even though they lost their general, these the, the Russians just refused to give in. Yep, heavy cavs still alive, still doing work. I'm pretty sure when we played it, the Ladu was still alive as well. I can't see him. The Grognards are Mortier. Got some dragoons here as well. Yeah, I thought Ladu was still alive when we uh, when we played it. I can't seem to see Ladu, and that's I think the problem because this cavalry now is actually harassing units over here and taking these out. And I believe these units actually managed to get to the fight over here. So this actually could be a very different replay. I don't know. I also wasn't really looking. I was trying to micro heavy my uh, my remaining forces to try and get them back in the fight. Try and do some some damage. Oh, here we go. Charge come here now. What's up, from The em Empress's oh, dragoons. They routed. Looks like a, uh, a Curassia unit there or something. That's a win. Nostrian infantry. I mean, it's not got much now to fight. I mean, they've taken their town over here that they had that they had to uh, hold. I can't even see the town name, but the one here that they they held that. That's what they they basically hold it. They've got to just take the trillias out. They actually are still minding their own business in this town here. So the French still hold it technically, um, but not really. Also, at the same time, <laughs> there's still fighting going on over here. The Grognar is getting charged, actually, by uh, by these Jurassians. Okay, Battle of the Titans. Who will win? I don't know. I feel like the Jurassians will win that. Um, we still got a tiny little Ladu. But I'm pretty sure that the, the large one was still very much alive. Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe I'm just imagining it. Yeah, this usually wouldn't happen. These guys wouldn't just be charging around for the fun of it. So you can tell that they're broken. Um, Our men are unfortunately, running, it just is how it is. Unfortunately, hopefully, uh, once uh, with the patches and stuff all out now, we'll have some more replays that won't be broken. And hopefully, now we won't also have yeah, br like CA constantly updating a ten-year-old game, which they 
like of all of all times to you know to patch this game they did it just as uh we did an awesome scenario really was a shame but yeah so i think i'm just gonna fast forward now there's just a lot of just charging around seems to be going on um so yeah i'll just fast forward now see if anything else really starts to occur it looks like the yeah, replay might be um slightly bugged out at this point uh onwards but yeah, the Austrians are over here. There is more of them. We just can't see them now. It seems like they're either hidden in the forest or just hidden by the town. Um, but yeah, at this point, uh, the old guard did start to arrive. It is starting to arrive now slowly. Um, some infantry, yeah, now making an appearance. It looks like um, the Russian cuirassiers having... Well, actually, it looks like they might lose here to Dragoons. Oh, if the Dragoons actually stood their ground, they might have won that fight. Coming across a river for cavalry, yeah, not going to be a good fight here for them. Um, but yeah... I, these Russian Cuirassiers, in reality, were defeated by Ledoux because Ledoux, yeah, should, uh, I think he's finally routed them there, actually, finally, yeah. Ledoux did actually come to get involved in this fight over here, what remained of it. Um, wasn't a lot, but it, it was some. Um, so we'll see what happens. Some of the Russians are still alive, but um, the Russians got kicked out of the town. I don't know how Vedenberg's here as well. Yeah, they also shouldn't be in the town. Um, they were just uh, absolutely pushed aside by the old guard once they got involved the old guard came sweeping through and um yeah they actually did knock out um the Vedenberg player the Vedenberg player qu played quite aggressively and then russia came in knocked out victor and then mortier with the remainder of the guard won the fight here which kind of is what happened what we saw and then yeah they all went down the road uh, and basically dealt with swarzenberg who had defeated me who was playing as a uh, nay uh, as the young guard but i did a pretty decent amount of damage I mean, Schwarzenberg could have easily defeated me a lot quicker. Um, their army was vastly larger than the Young Guard, as it always will be. And the Young Guard kind of relies on... It's got pretty decent infantry. Um, Schwarzenberg has to rely on that. Funnily enough as well, this Austrian army of hidden brings a single piece of artillery. Yeah, here we go. The lines are starting to clash again. And the Guard getting to place. I mean, the... There aren't actually that many guard units here. It's like the Velites, which I guess are a guard unit. And then we have the Chasseurs. But yeah, it's just Laguerre and line infantry here. And we've got, yeah, more Velites. A tiny part of the Velites returning. They do look awesome, though. You like the basic French actually look awesome. They look glorious shots. And Swarzenberg's having none of it. He doesn't want to fight. He's like, no. I dare not fight, not against the French master army. Uh, it looks like the other cuirassier also crossed. No, this is Russian infantry crossed. Okay, I don't know what they're doing here. Guess they could snipe out Mortier. I guess that could happen, but I don't think, again, don't think that happened when they played because all these Russians were dead. So I'm not quite sure how this has come to happen, but it has. So there you go. Yeah, more cavalry on the way. Oh, is this? Oh no, these are the Empress's Dragoons and also the Ladoo. Okay. They're now arriving. So more cavalry getting involved. That's always good. We have the, the other Empress's Dragoon here as well, doing their bit. Well, infantry routing though here. Look at yeah, no surprise. You know they are just again nothing like too special. They could route these French, to be honest. The, the, the Austrians could just charge them probably at this point. There you go, a chart. I mean, they're going to fire in a moment. I would have thought those Austrians. There you go, yeah. A few shots. They're trying to just dance. These cavalry just trying to dance around it. They could route them, actually, here. This cavalry is low morale. Our men are running. And there you go. It looks like... Looks like the uh, infantry are out of there. Cavalry's going to go in against something. Oh, the squares. I don't think it... <laughs> I don't know what's going on in this fight. I think the replay is slightly broken. These guys are looking the wrong way. Some of this infantry. Some of it is also just, yeah, squared and couldn't do anything. So, yeah, there you go. I think I'm just going to just fast forward now. Just let the rest of it fast forward. See what happens. Or I might just uh, cut to the end screen now um, for you guys. Our men are running, sir. Um, yeah, the battle's kind of broken at this point. Um, when we played it, you can catch the, what happened at the end of it in the stream. I'll leave a link for the stream as well if you want to go and check that out. See the live version. Um, again, I don't. you don't see everything. But you see the ending, which um, the French basically mopped up Schwarzenberg and we won. But, um, yeah, unfortunately, it just seems as though with the patches, it's just kind of broken. But there you go, guys. It does seem as though, um, 
yeah, we're going to have to get some more NCW3 historical battles, it seems. Um, I will um, finish the replay. I'll um, make a cut now to like the end, so uh, I think the rest of the replay is kind of broken. Um, but yeah, we'll, I'll see you guys in a moment at the end screen. Okay, so we are back, and uh, hopefully I put up the end results for you. So yeah, in fact, the replay even broke even more. It just froze at the end there. But yeah, that was the Battle of Arsis Sa'ub. Unfortunately, didn't get um, the, the ending that we hoped for. Um, I hope that maybe, uh, since we got through most of the game, and there was very little issues, um, that there was actually going to be no issues with the, um, with like, the replay. I, I thought I'd found a way to get around the patches and the updates, but we uh, hadn't quite entirely. But we got most of the replay out, so I hope you guys did enjoy it. I do apologize um, for like yeah a bit of a lacking battle, you might think, um, with a few issues there. But I hope you did enjoy. Um, we have got plenty more scenarios set up, and now that um, like it's all patched um, now, and there's a new update for Napoleon Total War Three that uh, allow that works with the current patch uh, for Napoleon Total War. So hopefully, we should have some excellent, non-crashy, non-broken um, replays to show off in the next few weeks. Um, and again, we'll be coming back to a lot of 1814 battles, checking out those new cores. Um, there's a new British uh, 1814 core as well, which I'm very much looking forward to seeing. Or cores, I should say. That I'm very much looking forward to seeing. So we've got some yeah, late uh, Peninsula War scenarios to do, which I'm very much looking forward to. But until then, guys, I'll see you in the next one.